on this T5, the fill and drain plugs are on the passenger side of the car or the transmission right hand side. Do not mistake in any plug you see on the left hand side as a fill plug. Uh, only on the left or right hand side are there some um, national pipe thread type plugs. It uses just a um, 3 8 uh, drive. So if you want to drain it, you would simply put the socket in here, back the, sock the uh, plug out and uh, service it that way. This transmission is dry. We don't have any oil and it's been drained already. So we're gonna go ahead and fill this transmission and directly above there is a similar plug that we have to loosen. So we're gonna make sure we're in a counterclockwise direction. We don't wanna over tighten any of these plugs because it could crack the case. So these are tapered normally. So if you're having a problem with the plugs leaking, always recommend reapplying a, tef a Teflon or type of plumber's um, sealant on this and that will help it uh, seal it. So don't over tighten, especially the drain plug. Again, the plug kind of looks like this here. Again, tapered and it just, as you can see on this one here, there's not much sealant left on it from being taken out from a previous service. So we have the fortunate um, luxury of a device here that is pressurized. We'll be able to squirt this material in using pressurized material or ATF. But if you are at home and do not have a means to pour it in, um, I recommend going down to your local auto parts store for about 10 bucks. You can buy a little quart um, a pump and it just goes into the uh, container, squirt, squirt. Easier to have maybe a little station next to you so you can push on it while you hose, hold the hose into the hole. The goal here is to get about 2.75 quarts into the transmission until it's level with the bottom of this uh, fill plug here. You don't want to overfill it. Where you can also check is if you take your pinky, run it into the hole and see if there's oil on the other side of the threads. If you're low and you cannot feel the oil, I recommend topping off for whatever reason if you have not enough oil in there. You want to make sure the transmission is level, of course. You don't want it sitting on an angle um, and have artificial reading. So we're going to fill it in a natural state. I've had customers ask me on the tech line, can I fill the transmission through the shifter opening? If you have the shifter off, for some reason you wish to pour it in. Yes, you can, but you just have to be careful that you have the plug removed and you know how much oil is in the transmission. And when you are pouring it through the shift box opening, keep in mind that the hole in the bottom of the shift box is only so large and you'll have to be metering your oil being poured in so that you don't overcome and spill over the edge of the case. So we're gonna go ahead, we've got this thing pressurized. We got the AMSOIL ATF. We're gonna take our uh, line here, feed it into the hole of the transmission. We're gonna make sure that it's inserted far enough so you don't get an artificial feedback of the oil dripping out. We have it pressurized to about 30 PSI. This light viscosity oil won't take much, so we're gonna meter uh, how much oil is coming in so that we don't do it too quickly. I do recommend that we change the oil on a transmission, you know, more frequently than we like to admit. Um, frequency depends on usage and your environment in which you're running the car. If you're running the car hard in an open track environment, I would definitely recommend um, you changing it seasonally. Oil is cheap, transmissions are not, and we have reached uh, full. So we have gonna be pulling back the line here. And we are full.
Okay, so I quickly put the plug in because with our fast fill system, we were uh, getting some oil coming out of the hole. That's one of the downsides. You have to really kind of pay attention because uh, yeah, it's convenient. It moves it fast, but it also will come out there pretty quick. So you'd be on your guard. As I mentioned earlier, we are using here a Permatex thread sealant with a PTFE in it. So we have a fairly large uh, container of it, but it comes in squeeze bottles and much smaller paste. The consistency of this product is basically a uh, white uh, pasty material. You just apply enough to seal it on the threads and that will stay in a kind of a pasty condition. If you're in a jam, you probably could use an RTV type product. Basically, you're just trying to seal those uh, threads from allowing oil to wick out of the uh, plug. So um, that's basically it. Um, again, don't recommend uh, gear oil in these transmissions. Much too thick. We like to think it's a, a manual shift transmission. We put gear oil in them. Those are left for the top loaders and the three speeds of the day. The T5 using a lighter viscosity works better in colder weather and warmer temps. Uh, again, uh, a good synthetic brand will service you well. Break-in period with transmissions. Uh, T5, you could put a regular standard Dextron 3 oil in, let it run for a couple thousand miles, pull it back out, and then you can put the uh, Amsoil ATF. And uh, if there's any other questions, give us a ring on the tech line. All of our TKXs and T56s and Magnums, again, all use a Dextron 3 oil, your 45s, 3650. So keep that in mind. But if you, any of those transmissions that I didn't list and you have a question on it, give us a ring. We'll be glad to help you at moderndriveline.com and tech at moderndriveline.com for an email address, phone number, 208-453-9800 and thank you for making it modern.